Song of Songs 7 3. Shorech agan hasahar al yechsar hamazeg. Bitneg aremathitim suga bashoshanim. So we begin here with shorech. You might hear this O here. If you go to Halot, you're going to see that this same word occurs in a couple of other places with a Kamitz HaTuf right here, and then a Resh with a Dagesh. Now, in this particular case, we end up with the two letters written out. Uh, Gesenius mentions this Resh and the Dagesh as an exception to uh, one of the other rules, but either way, we get here the word for navel with a 2FS suffix on it. So, your navel, and then we have a verbless clause, is a deep bowl of, a deep bowl of, notice the conjunctive accent here, a deep bowl of a round drinking vessel. So this would be something like your navel is a deep round bowl for drinking, something like that. And we kind of know that drinking is involved here uh, because we get next the al negation followed by what looks like an imperfect but all negates the jussive, so this is going to be a jussive of the root chasar to lack, and so we get this prohibition. Do not lack, or do not let it lack, as that third masculine singular version of the verb, do not let it lack the mixed wine. So your navel is like a round drinking vessel. Do not let it lack mixed wine. Next we get the noun betten with a 2fs pronominal suffix on it. So your belly is, your belly is a heap of, there's our feminine singular construct, a heap of wheat. Now I don't know if that's the best compliment, but I would imagine uh, that there was a reason this was used here. Your your belly is a heap of wheat. And then we get here, having been enclosed, this is a call passive participle, feminine singular of the root samic uh, vav gimel, having been enclosed with lilies.